do you find this question easy by me looking at it do you think it's easy or is it somehow confusing well it's easy but tricky if you actually make mistake small mistake you are going to fail this welcome back to my channel so we are asked to evaluate this 9 to the power of minus 2 to the power of minus 1 raised to the power of minus 3 okay now we remember that this is in ladder form so we are going to first of all solve this and this okay then we bring the answer down before we find the final solution so first of all we are going to evaluate minus two raised the power of minus one what this should this be remember that a raised the power of minus one is equal to one over a a raised to the power of minus 1 is 1 over a. So if we want to remove this negative sign, we take the inverse of whatever we have as the base. Okay? So it simply means that minus 2 to the power of minus 1, to remove the negative sign, we are going to have 1 over minus 2. Okay? And 1 over minus 2 is equal to minus 1 over 2. This is what we have. So we are going to write this as 9 to the power of, but before that, if this is the first time you are seeing us, I don't want you to miss us the next time. That is why I had to pause and I want to remind you that it's time to click that subscription button and turn your notification bell. Very important so that you don't miss us. We'll be very glad to have you as part of this wonderful family. Okay, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. If you don't, then tell us on the comments what you think we should do in order to do better. At your convenience, always tune in. Okay, there must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Okay. Thank you for always tuning in. Thank you for your support and everything. I appreciate. Okay. All right. So at this point, we have nine. So remember that minus two to the power of minus one is what? Minus half. So this is raised to the power of minus one over two. Okay. Now everything raised to the power of minus three. Now there are two ways we can solve this okay first of all because this is negative we take the inverse of the base in order to remove the negative sign right that means you can do something like this so the first method we can do something like this one over nine to the power of minus half raised to the power of what three do you understand yes all right now we have a negative as our denominator and nine to the power of minus half is the same thing as one over the second method is very easy and straight okay but let's just play around with our knowledge of exponents so nine to the power of minus one over four because this is minus one over four one over two because this is negative we can take one over nine to the power of half now everything raised to the power of three all right so remember that when you have one over a over b that this is equal to one over one multiplied by you take the inverse of this b over a that is when you change your division to multiplication you take the inverse okay of your denominator which is always a this thing or a fraction so we can write this as 1 multiplied by 9 to the power of half divided by 1. Now, everything raised to the power of 3. Now, 1 times 9 to the power of half is still 9 to the power of half. So, raised to the power of 3. Now, this is where we apply another law of indices or exponents. Like I said, we are just playing around with the knowledge of our exponential laws. We are still going to use the straightforward method. I know where you're going to. Okay. So, we have 9 to the power of half to the power of 3. Remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. 
So it simply means that this is equal to 9 to the power of half multiplied by 3 over 1, which is same thing as 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, now 9 is what? 9 is um, 3 squared. 9 is 3 squared. So 3 squared raised to the power of 3 over 2. If you should multiply this and this, we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 over 2, right? And this will give us 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. Or you can go ahead and apply another law of exponents that states that a to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of a raised to the power of m. So if we apply that law here, if we apply that law here, we are going to have square root of 9 because this is what 2. So it's going to be square root of 9 raised to the power of 3. And square root of 9 is 3, and 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So it will still give you the answer to this. Now, like I said, we have the second method, right? Let's go ahead and use the second method that is very easy to use. Okay, that one is very easy. It doesn't take time with all these laws and everything. Okay? So using the second method... What we have here is 9 to the power of minus half raised to the power of minus 3. Okay? Now, this is very easy. We just go straight and apply this law. That a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n without trying to remove the negative sign first. Okay? So, if we do that, we have 9 to the power of minus half multiplied by minus 3. Okay, so this will give us 9 to the power of minus 1 times minus 3, which will give us 3 divided by 2. So we have gotten to this point that we can take this as square root of 9 raised to the power of 3 using this law that a to the power of m over n is equal to n truth of a raised to the power of m. Okay, so square root of 9 will give us 3. And 3 to the power of 3 is 27 again. Thank you so much for watching.